What's up guys, you're watching Ty's iPhone Help. Uh, so I want to do this video because a few days ago, if you've seen my video about iOS 4.3, I kind of showed the new features uh, that's in it, and one of those features was multi-touch gestures on the iPad. <clears throat> now, a lot of people commented after I posted that video, and they're like, hey, we don't have the multi-touch gestures. Uh, now, let me explain the reason I have that. Now, I actually thought, and I, was, I did upgrade to the official 4.3 firmware, but my iPad first generation is connected to a developer account, which costs $99 a year. But luckily, I have a friend uh, that helped me out do that, and he connected me to his account. So that's why I have multi-touch gestures on my iPad, because they were enabled previously uh, when I was using the 4.3 beta builds uh, for the developers. So that's why I had it when, I, when the actual official firmware came out. Uh, but now, I didn't actually know this. You can actually download Xcode uh, from the App Store on your Mac, and you can do this. Uh, and enable multi-touch gestures on your iPad first generation uh, or iPad 2, which I've got right here on 4.3. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, credit to this video goes to Soldier Knows Best. I knew that you could do this with being connected to a developer account, but I actually didn't know that you can do this just by downloading the app uh, in iTunes or the App Store. Uh, now, this app does cost 5 bucks, so you're going to need to go to uh, your App Store, and you're going to need to download Xcode. Uh, which is $4.99, as I said, and I'll have a link uh, in the description of the video if you want to download this. So if you really want to touch gestures, uh, which I think is maybe kind of worth five bucks, that's not too bad. Now the only downfall to after you pay five bucks is uh, this file is 4.24 gigabytes. That's a that's a pretty big file uh, to download Xcode. But if you want to learn some development developing and stuff for the iPhones and iPads, there you go. That's a good start. Uh, so download this. Thankfully, as I said, for me. Uh, I don't need to because I've actually already got uh, Xcode on my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search uh, Xcode, open it up, and this is basically what you're going to do once you download Xcode. I'm just going to show you a quick way to, to do this. Go ahead and have your iPad plugged up to your computer. Uh, go ahead, we can close this out. I uh, Go ahead and select my iPad, which is this one right here. Okay, so this is my new iPad 2. Uh, you see 2 comma 1. Sorry, my dog's choking out back here. And all you have to do is click Use for Development. Give it a second, and if it asks for your account, or will, go ahead and hit cancel. You don't actually need to do that, uh, and then go ahead and hit collect, and then you should have to type in your password. I think it's actually a little bit different if you don't have the official Xcode for some reason, because I don't remember Soldier Knows Best doing this step of doing this, so you may not have to hit collect, but I'm doing it just in case, uh, so you can do that if you want to, or if it gives you the option to. So I'm going to let that do that. Let's uh, go ahead and skip over the collect process because you actually don't need to do that. Multitasking gestures is already uh, on my device, so uh, it's already turned on. You may have to do the on switch to turn it on. I'm not sure. Uh, go ahead and do the home go home button, and uh, the multitouching gestures gestures are working. So there you go. That's how to enable multitouch uh, gestures. Let me go ahead and show you kind of what these look like. Let me open up a few apps on my iPad. Okay, let's open up a few apps, and then you can see that we can scroll straight through these just by flicking. Now let's go to an app. Let me go back to uh, settings, and you can just pinch out and take you to the home screen. Uh, so that's a quick way to enable multi-touch gestures on the iPad 1 or iPad 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, credit to Soldier Knows Best. I'll have a link to his channel in the description, even though you guys probably already know about it and watch his videos. If not, go check him out. And uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Here's Boo. You guys wanted to see Boo again. If you want to check out Boo, a lot of people ask me about Boo, go to my uh, Otime Also channel. I'll link it at the end of this video. Uh, he, he's in our videos all the time. So a lot of people want to know about my pet monkey, and you guys didn't know. So go check that channel out if you want to. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Now there's other people riding by looking at our monkey. <laughs> Look, Boo, you're famous, man. <laughs>